So uh, we have two two statements from from online. Are they online? So we have Mati Ibanez, uh, the councillor of Valencia, the world capital of design. Okay, yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. You listen? Okay. So, uh, from Valencia City Councils and uh, Councillor for Cultural Action, I would like to thank you for inviting me to take part in the European Creative Industry Summit Green Conference. It is an honor to be with you all, and I congratulate the organization on this initiative. I want to send my greetings to everyone, those of you who are current, currently in Prague and those connected online. And thank you for the much needed contribution and debates that will emerge from this meeting. Today, we know that creative and cultural industries are a fundamental economic driver for cities. In this sense, Valencia considers it essential to promote a culture that integrates the objectives of sustainability. Not only to recognize classic development indicators such as uh, gross domestic product or employment, but also habitat, quality of life or welfare conditions. Hence the importance of the preparation of the Green Book for the management of cultural heritage, which is being prepared by the Spanish government. A project that considers cultural heritage as a sustainable living organism where the participation of civil society or the pins a discourse supported by claim change, the national strategy in the face of the democratic challenge, conservation plans or education. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Okay. Valencia has strengths found in sectors such as design, comics, music, literature, or visual art. For this reason, it is important to continue promoting general strategies that elaborate transversal path that join with society, such as the impact of the World Capital of Design 2022, support for the associative and professional network, cultural industries or universities. We have a roadmap to position Valencia, creatives and cultural industries in the place of the deserve. And from the design, the World Capital of 2022 is an example of public-private collaboration from the search for synergies. This new path that we are opening up will be an opportunity to connect design with the urban economy because design is innovation, just like technologies or research. From these cultural landscapes of the cities, I would also like to highly the prominence of human festivals because they have already become a city brand, because they connect the creation, the industry and the participation of the citizens. And they give a value to identify of some of the historic neighborhoods of the city. The cultural agenda has already become a hallmark of Valencia and with it, the industries, creatives and promoters are part of that dynamics. We are a city of festival of Okeans, scenic, audiovisual, multidisciplinary, or music. From that global idea, we want to nominate Valencia as a candidate to belong to the UNESCO Creative Cities Network, a network created to promote cooperation between cities that identify creativity as a strategic factor for sustainable urban development a network to place creativity and cultural industries at the center of the local development plan and to cooperate actively at an international level in this area. 
The concept of creative cities is based on the idea that culture can play an important role in urban renewal and therefore urges governments to increasingly take creativity into account when it comes to developing new economic strategies. But for traditional cities to evolve into creative cities, it is imperative that authorities acquire responsibilities and objectives that establish links between citizens to foster cultural diversity, facilitate access to new technologies, and the training to creative citizens. On the other hand, the health crisis has made it necessary for us to act quickly, promoting economic aid to mitigate the effects derived from the closure of theatres, music halls, bookstores, galleries, etc. The need to stimulate the reactivation of the cultural sectors, increase the amount of monetary aid or creating extraordinary calls for employment has been one of the main requests made to us by professional associations. For the focus on the sector, the aim of cultural policy would be to promote the professionalization under decent conditions of managers and professionals of culture and creation. For cultural industries to work vigorously today, we must consolidate international exchange, support the professionalization of the sector from the perspective of the manual of good practices that allows to improve the cultural labor market and make the creative women visible. But in that process, we must never forget the spectators. On the main challenges or we are facing is to improve public access. That is why it is essential to work so that culture research everyone. Everyone, I mean, intergenerational groups, intercultural groups, from education through the first years of childhood and later integrated as a part of our life. We are talking about making the right to cultural and its accessibility as a reality. Also, the 2030 Agenda did not incorporate a specific SDG that places culture as an essential element for sustainable development. Culture has the responsibility to be a transversal space and sometimes difficult to define. For some time now, there have been many voices calling for culture to be considered one more sphere of sustainable development as it covers all areas of human activity and constitutes one of the main source of values, social cohesion, well-being, wealth and social participation. In this way, the ESDG framework presents a triple opportunity for the cultural sector. First, it allows, it allows it to rethink its relationship with audience and identify new potential ones, developing inclusive and transformative policies. Second, it enables enables you to generate new services through innovation, experimentation and research and production of knowledge. And finally, the East Digits pass cultural entities and agents to seek new ways to financing in this complex and changing landscape. Generally, the concept of sustainable development is explained by articulating in three dimensions, environmental sustainability, social inclusion and economic prosperity. But some authors have proposed the cultural dimension as a fourth pillar, because in today's world, cultures play a fundamental role in understanding sustainable, green 
and future development. Regarding the values of sustainability and social action, what can design do? Victor Pagman said, the only direction that makes sense is people-oriented design. Social design has become a new tool for activism and integration. The Institute for the Research and Development of Creation and Art Therapy Process has recently developed in Valencia a project whose objective is to generate a new realities, relationships and values in the context of inclusion through design, art and art therapy. This initiative has been supported by the Department of Youth in the, in the Valencia Council and the Seal of Valencia World Design Capital 2022 and has been materialized in a co-creation project in collaboration with the young people of a social and labor insertion center. Participants spoke with the neighborhood about their needs and opportunities. With all this information, they promoted a collaborative design process, which resulted in a proposal for, a, for urban furniture that put neighbors at the center through large format photographs. This community action was developed in the municipal market of the neighborhood. The aim was to promote the social integration and labor inclusion of youth people at risk of exclusion. For them, it was an experience that started from a team design. Designing is a way of relating to objects, the environment, and the people. On the other hand, aligned to the participation in the design capital, the city network of schools intervened on the day of Education City, where it was remarked the importance of design as a tool that favors and enhances the development and transformation of the city. Each school made its own poster that would be part of the urban furniture, where they represented the importance of design for the city. More than 3,600 students from Valencia participated in the project Working for a City in Coexistence. If culture has demonstrated anything in these difficult times, it has been its strategic capacity and ability to connect with the public. After all, both the digital and the in-person viewer seeks stimulus by the storyteller. All generations, in one way or another, have to feel part of a creative process. Culture provides a hopeful formula for looking to the future, or at least having ourselves entertained as the world is being recomposed. From this perspective, we have, we have embarked on a new decade where the exercise of coexistence and creativity will be achieved if we continue to live connected by the culture and values of world conservation. Thank you very much.